Welcome to wallsports.com. I'm Brian Duvall along with Woodlands Christian Warrior head coach Nate Sanford. And coach, you made the uh, postseason a, a preseason goal. First of all, how does that feel to accomplish that? Oh, it, it feels great. Uh, we told our kids yesterday that 40% um, of the high school football teams in Texas are still playing football. I mean, 60% have already turned in their pads. Mm -hmm. And next week, it's going to be 20% of the kids uh, still playing football. So they are in that top 40%. And it's just a great feeling. And with the cold weather blowing in, it feels like playoff football. We're very excited. Coach, you get matched up with the team Faith Academy out at Marble Falls. First of all, a long trip. You got to prepare for that. And then also a team that rushes for over 300 yards a game on an average for 10 weeks. That's, they've got some firepower. They sure do. Um, they've got a, a wing back. That's their leading rusher, who we call their home run hitter because he's averaging 13 yards a carry. He doesn't carry it a whole bunch, but he doesn't need to. He gets seven or eight carries a game when kind of when you least expect it and um, does a good job shifty. He's only about 140 pounds, but he'll make you miss in space. Their workhorse is their halfback, Royale Brown, and he's got close to 1,000 yards, averaging uh, eight or nine yards a carry. But he's going to get it a few more times in the game. Quarterback does a good job of distributing the ball. That offense is predicated on – quick, deceptive movements in the backfield to get people the ball without the defense realizing it. So that sounds simple, but it's very difficult to do, as we found out this week, trying to replicate it in practice for our, for our defense as our scout team's working for them. So um, we have to make sure that we uh, read our keys and don't get caught up looking in the backfield because by the time we blink, the ball's gone the other way. Coach, is one of the keys to win to get off to a fast start? You, do you feel you have to get off to a fast start to win? Well, I take that question personally because we obviously allowed 20 points in the first quarter against Bay Area and then um, shut them down for the rest of the game. Um, but absolutely, you're right. We cannot dig ourselves in a hole. Um, however, if we do get behind, our kids showed last week against a quality opponent that they have zero quit. Uh, we all feel like we just needed a little bit more time last week. But um, having said that, this is one and done if you lose. So all of our kids realize we can't dig ourselves in a hole. There's no next week to make up for it. District is over. This is a win in advance, lose and go home scenario. Yes, sir. So, Coach, uh, looking back over your past three games, you know, you, you were sitting three weeks ago, you were sitting 2-0 and in the district. You play two hard teams in Cypress Christian, Bay Area Christian. You dropped two of those three. What, what do you think has been the difference? Is it just the style of a, and quality of opponents, or do you think there's some things offensively and defensively that need to be improved? There's always things that need to be improved. Uh, Cypress Christian was really our first full game with our current quarterback, Michael Sachs. The offense was, um, by design, very limited. Uh, we didn't ask him to do a whole lot of different things so as to not uh, damage his confidence going into the rest of the season. Um, that's taking nothing away from Cypress Christian. They did an outstanding job. They uh, shut down Luke Hudson. They really put the clamps on a run game. Weren't able to do a whole lot of throwing. Um, Dirk obviously had a good game that week, and uh, we want to continue to get him the ball. But we didn't ask Michael to do too much. We expanded the playbook a little bit the next week and, and, and won that game and it's some difficult circumstances over in Beaumont. And then last week against Bay Area, like I said, we dug ourselves in a hole, but Michael again did a great job. Uh, rushed for about 120 yards, uh, still has not thrown an interception um, in, the, in the three games that he's played quarterback. So the playbook is slowly expanding and that will open up things in the run game. Michael himself opens up things in the run game because now you have to count for him and you have to count for the running back uh, running the ball. So um, that's, that's been another key part of the, of the difference in starting 2-0 and and finishing 3-2, and not only the level of competition, but the fact that we were trying to keep things simple. Coach, I know everybody after 10 weeks has got bumps and bruises. How are you shaping up from an injury standpoint? Thank the Lord we're shaping up very well. Uh, we've had a couple of close calls the last couple of weeks. Um, but we're, we're in fact getting healthier than we've been uh, in the past. Certainly looking at last year, at this time of the year, we were sitting at home. Uh, the week 10 game of our, of our season last year, we had 10 or 11 starters out. So at this point in time, um, our kids are strong. Uh, we're stronger than we were at the beginning of the season. We make sure of that with our Warrior Weights program and very healthy, and that's a great place to be. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck. And, folks, for the latest on the Warriors, keep it right here to wallsports.com.